in this country from an aggressive kind of mosquito, but there are also more ways to protect yourself this summer. Dr. David Agus is a CBS News contributor. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Nora. So I have heard this new mosquito described as the Asian tiger mosquito as having a bloodlust for humans, dogs. How dangerous is it? Well, it's been around for a while. It's been here 30 or 40 years, but it's growing. It's in 20 states now. This is different than other mosquitoes who classically bite from dusk till dawn. This one will bite all day. And once it clamps onto you, it doesn't let go. So the old days you swatted it, it flew away. This one stays on you, hard to get off. And it doesn't like most insect repellents. Right now, DEET is really the only one that will make it not bite you. And I understand that this insect is particularly effective at spreading illnesses. What kinds of diseases? Well, mosquitoes are an amazing creature, right? They've got two little channels in their mouth. And by the way, only the female bite. They put the channels in, one of them puts its saliva in, and that saliva makes your blood so it doesn't clot. The other sucks up blood till its stomach is full. Well, that saliva can carry disease like West Nile virus, dengue fever, malaria. The first, West Nile, is really common in the United States and we have to watch out for. The others are less common, but mosquitoes are a vector for disease. David, supposedly this mosquito likes darker clothes. I mean, what, what sort of things can you do to, to try to prevent a bite from this? Well, the simplest is you take a shower. Human, I mean, mosquitoes have sensors, and they smell the human smell. They smell the carbon dioxide we breathe. So if you shower less, you get bitten more. If you wear perfumes or creams, They'll come in and they'll bite you because they'll recognize you. You know, the way repellents work, citronella indeed, is they overwhelm the receptors on those mosquitoes so it can't find you. So you want to wear long clothing so it can't bite you. You want to wear clothing that doesn't stand out. You don't want to make movements all over the place because those are the ones who are going to get bitten. And then there's a the genetic component, is that you inherit from one of your parents the ability that mosquitoes <coughs> like you. That we can't control. So do, where I, does toothpaste come in, David? <laughs> well, when you're bitten, the first thing you want to do is put on something that's alkaline, that's basic. So toothpaste can be that, baking soda, there's a compound called afterbite, and then it'll go away. Because what that is, it's an immune reaction against the saliva of the mosquito. So you neutralize it right away, it's not going to cause a problem. You start scratching it and itching it, it's going to cause an infection over time, and we don't want that. All right, Dr. David Agus, thank you for that news about the Asian tiger mosquito.